So I thought I'd go over a few things, how you can find a short or a draw in a vehicle, that's like a parasitic draw that's draining the battery. So if you're waking up in the morning or if you're going out to your vehicle and the battery's dead and you know you got a short somewhere, I, I can show you quickly how you could do this, how you could find the short or the draw, doing it very low cost. I'm gonna put links down below for everything that I'm looking at here. And so the first thing is there's two ways you could do this. Uh, you could use a meter or you could use a test light. It, most mechanics will just automatically use a test light because they're really quick and easy to do. And plus it's just visual, you could just see it. And so I, I would recommend just getting a low cost test light. You can get it for like 10, 20 bucks. But if you have a meter, you could do the same thing. And so basically to do this, you just disconnect one of the battery cables. It could be negative or positive. And what you do is you put the test light in between the two. So you put, you put the clip on the battery terminal and you put the test light lead on the battery terminal itself. As you can see in this picture, you know, you have the lead going to the, to the cable and then you have the test light touching the, the terminal. And the short will light up the light because there's a draw right now. So the bulb inside of there will light up. And so while that's lit up, go to your fuse panel and one at a time, pull out a fuse and look and see if that test light goes off. Now, if the test light goes off, you found the component that shorted it. If not, then put it back in so you don't get your fuses mixed up. But basically you want to go one by one through the fuses until the test light goes off. And when the test light goes off, then you found the circuit that's draining the battery. So if you pull it and it says, you know, radio, then you know that that's the one that's draining the battery. Now, the one thing about this is that, especially on modern cars, there's, there is sometimes devices that are on inside the vehicle. So then they're supposed to be on and doing a small uh, drain on the battery, not a huge drain. So it shouldn't be draining overnight, but there can be some things that do this. So what would be some examples of this? Well, if you have your door open, your light might be on inside, that would be causing a misread. Some radios, they'll have like a clock in there or, or things like this. That they'll have a small drain on the battery. You know, you, if your key's in the accessory position, that would be cause the test light to light up. That would be a small drain. So these, these are things you have to keep in mind is that you can have some small drains going on when you do this. That would be the only thing you have to watch out for. And as you do find these, as you do pull it, so if, if, the, if the radio is, has a small drain and you pull the, pull the fuse on that, then you're gonna see the test light dim a little bit, but it won't go completely off, but you'll see it dim. So you're gonna wanna leave that out and just move along until you get that test light to go off. That's basically it. And if you're using a meter, it's gonna be the same thing and you just want it to be zero. You don't want it to be, you don't wanna see any amps or voltage going on in there. And so this is quick and easy to do. I just wanted to go over a real quick video on how you can go about this. And because it can be a headache if you have a big drain going on and it's draining your batteries. But that's basically it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.